Hello, welcome to Rika TV. Um, last time I said I was going to be consistent, <laughs> so I'm trying to keep to my promise right now. So today we're going to talk about um, gangs of Lagos. That is what everybody's talking about. That is what everybody's watching. Nollywood, in fact, Nollywood has really, really made us so proud. You know, Nollywood, the world. I'm, I'm a huge um, fan of Nollywood. I'm a big supporter of Nollywood. I, I, you know, I believe so much in the industry, and I know how that industry has done so much for everyone. So that's why I'm always excited when there is like a new project um, that is doing so well. So, so now I'm going to be talking about Gangs of Lagos, but I'm not going to be reviewing the movie entirely i want to talk about a particular character that caught my interest so mm, this movie it's kind of what we experienced you know before the elections and during the elections so it's set in um it's it's Sale Eko. sorry i'm I, if i didn't pronounce that well so lagos island so it's like a proper proper lagos movie like the should I uh, should I call the ghetto part of Lagos, that part where you see all these agberos? That is, in fact, that is where the you know that's the settings of the movie. So the movie has um some good actors like um Toby Bakre, Adesoi Tomi, um Chike, Tony Abraham, Yvonne Jagede, um who. I've, I've forgotten some people's names now. Um, Choma Chukuka, Iyabo Ojo, and so many, many other um, um, good actors on the movie. Yeah. So, I want to talk about a particular character that caught my interest. But before then, let me just kind of like summarize the movie so you know where I'm getting to. So now, in this movie right um so they have the whole um isaleko um, environment where a lot of things are happening um people are they're robbing people in traffic they're pushing drugs they're stealing um, from people's containers there is a whole lot going on and then they have like a kingpin you know like the the one everybody's scared of the one controlling lagos you know that's what controlling is Aleko, you know controlling everywhere and people always go to him you know to talk about so many things like you know anything that is happening in the community you go to the man so you get where i'm coming from and really when we look at what is happening today and even before the election you see that that is what is even happening till now in 2023 that's what it is still happening so anyway the car the character i want to talk about today well um it's tony's character in the movie so apparently in the movie tony was contesting to be the governor of lagos state and you know he she was on contesting against um, one of these um kingpins you know these ones that control lagos you know, everybody's doing what they want to do. When it's time for elections, everybody has to vote whoever that person says, okay, vote this person. And that's what they expect all those people in Isaleko to vote. And, you know, Tony was contesting to be the governor of Lagos State against this person. So, during, you know, in the movie, she was campaigning for herself. And then she said, oh, um... We, um, we cannot keep voting for people that, you know, a family and a man that has been controlling Lagos State for more than 20 years now. We should not do that. Let's vote right and everything. Ah, ah. I was like, ah, no wonder. Because once I entered Twitter, people were dragging to me. People were dragging her so much. And I'm like, what's happening? What happened? And, you know, from the few comments I saw, I knew it was about this movie. I said, okay, no, I'm going to watch because I need to know um, why exactly they were dragging her. But when I got to that scene, I was so, um, you know, triggered. And I, I totally understand why people dragged her, even though... <laughs> 
for me i just i didn't I, later on I, I i just looked at it like mm, okay she's she's really just doing her job you know they gave you a role you have to you know just act your role and leave it doesn't mean that it's your real real life and everybody knows during this election she, she was you know you know where and who she was supporting so it's kind of opposite of what she said in um gangs of lagos and this movie was shot in 2021 so for a, a movie that was shot in 2021 and then we got to um, 2023 and then you start doing the exact opposite have you forgotten about the movie or in this is just you so i get why nigerians were triggered why nigerians were angry i've seen some people say okay i'm not going to watch the movie because she's in there but please don't make that mistake go out and watch the movie is not even so in his movie to be honest had parts in the movie is not even that important it's not that important so please go out watch the movie support nollywood right and you know let me know what you think. What do you think about um, Tony's role? Um, some people suggested that the producer and director should have um, gotten another actress and gone to reshoot that scene. And I'm like, mm, is that really a good suggestion? Because the thing is, I can imagine what it takes to shoot these movies calling these actors again to say okay come let's reshoot it also means you're going to pay money again you're going to pay money and this is business so please go out and sub- um not go out go on prime prime video and subscribe and watch the movie and let me know what you think until now i think we should be doing this maybe every week i don't know how i'm going to do it maybe next time i'm going to do a movie or music or anything i think music will be great so please subscribe like share to your friends and comment as well thank you so much and bye